Hi everyone. I am a huge fan of these Dilutions journals. Huge. I love them. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. I love the paper, especially the cream color. But, <laughs> um, or you know, not really but, but anyway. I don't like this hard cover when I'm working in the journal. I love the hard cover when I store it away. So when I take this, when I'm done with this journal and I want to, you know, like put it on a shelf or whatever, I love having this nice hard cover. And to be honest, I really like um, the color of it and I like to sometimes decorate them, sometimes not, it just depends on my whims. But I don't like trying to work with this heavy cover. Um, the last few that I bought, I was easily able to get the, the journal part of it out. But these last couple that I bought is impossible. You cannot get them out. I had to cut the back of the journal off, um, which is fine, to be honest with you. You know, it's their product. They make it the way they want, and I will work with it, right? But I wanted to kind of use this to... Um, show you what I do in that case. So I cut it away um, <clears throat> and um, I just, this is what's left of the back page. And I just took an old painting that I had that was just in my scrap pile and I just glued it. You know, I just kept that tiny little bit, which is what you would want to keep if you were wanting to like do an add in into your journal. Um, so I kept that bit and then I glued it with a heavy PVA glue and then I put um, a book on it uh, for a couple, oh, I don't know, maybe two days, I guess. Um, so now I'm just going to work on um, making the inside of it look nice. It doesn't have to look nice, but um, yeah, obviously you can still art journal with it and not worry about it. And then, you know, I could have just glued it back in. But also though, <laughs> um, the inside cover as well as the back is this like kind of grayish brown color and for some reason I don't like that so much um, I don't know why because I love this uh, but uh, so I just took an another old painting that I had that was in my scrap pile I send out scrap I sell scrap kits for people and I throw like old paintings and stuff in them. Um, so I grabbed one out and this one just happened to already be cut the size. All I had to do was round the corners. So I just painted that um, more grayish sort of color, uh, the same sort of off white that the pages are and then just glued this down. But this is fun too because it makes it super thick because this was a heavy watercolor paper and the PVA glue will dry um, kind of stiff so it works out well, you know, for my purposes. I don't mind if the cover is stiff. I just don't want it to be that big, funk, you know, like honking cover. Anyway, I, I, it's like one of those things because trust me, I love these journals. I highly recommend them for anyone who doesn't want to make your own journals, um, but you want to work with um, a whole variety of mixed media. These take water just fine. Um, and they, you know, I, I can use all my mediums. The only thing I don't use in my journals, usually I have in the past, but usually is um, oil paints. Uh, it's not to say you can't, I have in the past, but I don't have the patience for the drawing time. <laughs> so I don't usually use them um, in my journal. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to um, finish my back cover and I, I was starting to um, get the pieces together for it. And I realized I, you know, probably wanted, I, I felt like I should, um, do a video on you know how I handle that just in case anyone else too is in love with these journals but not so much with um, working with this um, because I don't think you can like here's why I say that <laughs> um, because when I'm working in this all of this is underneath my pages and I don't like that. Plus, it extends out a lot further, which means the one time that I did leave the cover attached, this section inevitably and the edges all got covered in paint. Um, 
and I just didn't like the way it looked when it when I had the um, journal complete. I would show you, but I don't have any of my dilutions, finished dilutions journals. I um, sold all of them <laughs> or gave them away because some of them I just gave away. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I will do in the end is, um, and I've already kind of, you know, done sort of like the mental gymnastics to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to create. Um, I have a hole punch uh, along with a rivet tool, so I'm just going to um, take a piece, probably a piece of canvas or something that looks nice, that matches it. Um, I'm just going to rivet it in place um, here and here and here and here, going from the outside going over so that I can just slide this in and it'll hold it there if that makes sense. You'll get to see it when this when I do a final flip through, um, as I have literally just started this journal. Um, this is the first thing I've done in it, so it'll who knows how long it'll take me to finish it at the rate that I've been getting slower and slower at finishing art journals um, over time. But sometimes I I you know get a I, a spurt of, of inspiration and I you know I finish a journal in a couple of months so who knows anyway that's it for me I just thought I would record this process and I'll just play some music and I hope you're having a wonderful day and don't forget that comparison is the thief of all joy and do in your journals what you want to do and ignore what everyone else is doing unless you want to look at what other people are doing that's fine too but don't let comparing um, one person's journal to another one's or one person's art to another one's or one person's lifestyle to your own, um, don't let that take the joy from you. The joy is the whole process of doing this. So just keep that in mind. See you guys later. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago
back a year ago.